But they did not know that you became 20 today, <laughs> or a few months ago. Is that right? I'm still 19. Yes, so are you? Yes, you. Thank you. Ashmal. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, what happened today proves that this organization can keep a secret. At least for 24 hours. <laughs> That's very good news. I heard about it uh, a few That's miles away. Nice. Yeah, so, so uh, he, he did not know. So I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that he's surprised, which is great. Uh, so thank you very much all for keeping the secret so we'll be able to, uh, to surprise him uh, with this, uh, with this uh, event here. Yeah, I, um, I agree and I second everything that uh, Nabil and uh, the HR team uh, prepared. Don't forget, guys, when I came here, I was the new kid on the block, and it was very difficult. And I was considered like the uh, the um, the American cowboy who's coming here to change things. So I really needed a lot of support, and I was not getting a lot of it. There was a lot of resistance for the changes that I wanted to make. And Shakir was one of the people who really gave me support uh, at the time. So I really thank him for that. Uh, made all the difference in getting me completely uh, up to date with what's happening in this organization. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay, so... This is uh, empty pay, presumably. <laughs> lovely, mashallah. This was in America, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, thank you, Shakir. <laughs> and what I wrote in the book is that I, I hope in 20 years' time I would be writing another note, inshallah ta'ala. For, so, so we have 40 years of service uh, with Islamic Relief. Uh, may Allah give us all uh, that much time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I guess I'm, I'm hoping that this happens so I will also live 20 years to write it down. So, Zakum Allah Khaira. Thank you. There is one or two seats here in the front, uh, Sister Sophia and others if you want to say, am I permitted <coughs> to allow people to speak? Oh, that's your life, that's right? Yeah. Nobody speaks, huh? Do you want to say a few words? No. Ah, me? Yeah. Ah, thank you. I'm permitted to speak, okay, you thank you. Uh, when I look at Shaquille, come here. Somebody that I met before Islamic Cliff and Islamic Cliff Games, something which has not been mentioned. And they used to use his muscles to organize things. Because I'm a weak man, but he's a brave man. I'm short and he's tall and he's powerful. So people through Islamic Cliff Games came to Islamic Cliff and they became leaders of community. Anwar, Jangir, Sakandar. Shaquille and Fan, uh, his, his cousin in Pakistan, uh, Adnan Shima, all came to Islamic League Games. Because it was a national event. And we were hoping one day that we would make Islamic Olympics. Actually, at that time. I'm not going to be distracted, but who's, uh, who's standing behind me? Because I'm focusing on you. Okay? So Islamic Cliff was a momentum in the history of the British society. <coughs> Islamic Cliff, Islamic Cliff Games is a momentum in the history of Islamic of the of the British society. One day, the chief constable of those Midland came to us, and when he looked about the diversity of the people who came to play and to enjoy their time, he told me, "You could become a big politician and win." the election somewhere, because we managed to bring everybody, Muslim, Christian, Hindus, everybody was there. Even our female footballers came to play football with their own teams when they came from London. 120, 140 teams for playing football under 15, under 12, under 15, under 18, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Islamically, as, as Shaquille was one of those people who made Islamic League games a success story even before joining Islamic League. And this is the spirit of volunteerism in the heart of a man at a young age that he can make the change. And he managed to make the change. And today we're talking about his coming 20 years. What kind of fingerprint that he will put on the British society as a whole. 
on the Islamic family as a whole, and on the humanitarian movement as a whole, as a whole and on the social movement as a whole. And we celebrate your future, 20 years, inshallah. So the past is gone. Let us talk about the future. That's your life. Okay. Thank you. Just keep, keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it like this. We were going to hear a few uh, uh, others and then ask Shaquille at the, uh, at the end if that's okay. Oh, so to hear from uh, okay. uh, a few others who've known him uh, over the years. So he will be the, uh, at the end, huh? Yeah. Oh, come back to the edit uh, thing. Yes. Anybody would like to say something good about Shaquille or something better? But I couldn't be able to deliver my talk without standing next to him. <laughs> Okay, yes? <laughs> Volunteer? Volunteer? Sister Chocolate. Chocolate. Come on. Oh. Layla? Layla. Layla. Oh, okay. I uh, also do have a name. Huh? Alhamdulillah, I know the name now. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'm talking about Shaquille, right? And not about me. About me oh, really? Shaquille. <laughs> <laughs> I want Shaquille, Shaquille. Well, uh, I don't know Shakir very well. We have never like really worked together, but I think it's someone in Islamic Relief I really value and look up to, in how he works, in how he works with his team, in how he you know relates to everybody in the organisation, and the way he works, his standard decision he takes, and yeah, it's, I think for me a really good example. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. Go on. Put that.